Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes. Um, thank you guys who've been here from the beginning. I sure do appreciate you. And I'm really happy. Uh, I'm just really happy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Today I was going to do a little something different for the Battle of the Exes. And I'm going to use the Gaia deck and uh, for uh, energy read. And I'm going to use this for the Divine Masculine, which is the Lightseer's deck. And so um, it's really beautiful here today. The sun is shining. And uh, it's been raining for two or three days. And so it was really a nice change. Um, you know, I started reading earlier, but it didn't work out. So I decided maybe, and before I started reading, God said, why don't you use Gaia deck? And I'm like, okay, but I just didn't even really think about it and went to the same old cards that I usually use or the regular ones I've been using. And sure enough, it just didn't work out very well. And I remember God said, why don't you use the Gaia deck? And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's use the dreams of Gaia deck for the energy need, and then what kind of energies are based around it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card for the Divine Masculine. Let me cut this. I hope everybody's okay. We have had like a cold and stomach flu around here for a couple of days, so I hope everybody's doing well out there. I got the chicken soup cooking and, you know, got to doctor everybody up and, you know, hope and pray they can get over this soon. I, myself, drink lots of ginger water and I, so far, after several days, seem to be not too bad. A little bit of a nose going on and um, a little bit of a cough when I lay down at night. So I have really, really, really blessed compared to those who are living out here around in my world, <laughs> running noses and running to the bathroom. And, ooh, I don't like to get sick, and that is why I drink my ginger water every day. It's an antioxidant, and it's full of fire, but it don't taste hot. It's not hot, but it's it's a it's considered under the uh, er herbs as fire and it will burn out stuff that's in your body that don't belong you know it's like writing stuff down on a piece of paper lighting it on fire and throw it in an ashtray watch it turn to ash well you drink ginger water you know infections um you know feel bad bad anything that's not right you don't feel right well the ginger water really helps a lot and I t I've been doing it for like five years now, every day, my ginger water. And um, I haven't been sick one time. I got covered, but it was gone in like 24 hours. And I was able to take care of everybody else. And believe me, I was eating ginger raw, raw. That's right. I just like stuffed it down my face. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, it could be mind over matter. What you believe, you know, is what you get. So, you know, it's better to believe in something great and far-fetched than something negative and depressive, right? Right. So when I have a good, when I have beliefs, I make sure my beliefs are like, you know, like I'm, I'm reaching out, out for, for a lot. <laughs> But God is good, man, and blesses my faith. Blesses it. So, you know, I'm I'm grateful. And, you know, I want to move on because I don't want to sit here and spend all your, waste all your time talking. So this will be the Divine Masculine's energy. This will be the Divine Feminine's energy. And this will be Creator Source's energy. And I'm going to set these right here. I love the Gaia cards. They have beautiful art on them. And, um, you know, I've been drawn to multicultural 
uh, art and cards lately, the last couple months when I've been getting them. So I've been really grateful, but they're really hard to learn. Not hard to learn, but there's a lot of symbolism in them and a lot of de uh, definitions. Six of Pentacles. Divine Masculine wants to give. He also wants to receive, but he's like ready to give. Funny, the, the sickle that he has in his hands is for harvesting. He's just finished harvesting. I'm not sure, but he almost looks like he's chained he's chained up to that this rig that goes across his shoulders right there. Got a key and a lock. It almost looks like the divine masculine's offering himself up. I'm going to grab the book. Six Pentacles. I have been studying this, but I definitely, definitely need to get more, get in it more. This is a big old book, as you can see. You know, with a big, you know, like the definitions are not small. Family. Community. Providence. Protection, dependability, responsibility, duty, service, self-sacrifice, martyrdom. Wow. He is offering himself to the family, to the community, to the providence. I mean, like, like the world, like prove against, prove it. Protection, dependability, responsibility, duty, service, self-sacrifice. Responsibility and duty to family. Love, care, and support. Lead by example. A time of sharing. Learn about nature. Important matters need attention. Animals and how you care for them. So this Divine Masculine has offered himself up to the community, to life, to maybe God, to maybe Source. I didn't get a kick. Um, what is this Holy Spirit? He's making an offering, God says. To, is he making it, who's he make the offering to? An offering of dedication and loyalty. Somebody's divine masculine is offering himself up in dedication and loyalty um, to, to serve Providence, the family. Or the planet? What's he offering himself to, Holy Spirit? This divine masculine, and he is, he's all masculine, isn't he? But he's so beautiful and peaceful looking, like, yeah, look at the face, the eyes. Steady. He looks steady. My wish is that any of you looking for something like that, you find it. I pray. I know we all want to be a princess that gets swept off our feet by the one that's going to save us. But we know by now, we know that there is no savior coming to sweep us off our feet and you know, make our life just like roses and gardens and stuff like that. Yeah. 
but we understand that it's it's 50 50 right and every once in a while it'll be 75 25 on either end as long as it's you know give and take right yeah so what's he offering what's what is this divine masculine this soul offering himself to mm. he wants to make a choice between two This masculine wants to make a choice. Okay. We're in suspense. What kind of choice? He's offering himself up and he wants to make a choice of of should I go or should I stay now? I don't know. Let's don't get all crazy. What kind of choice? He wants to make a choice for family. He has made a choice for family. And there he is, holding on to his choice. Turned away from the world and wandering. I would say that would be a book of wandering. And took the one staff and made the choice, and he has chosen family. Holy Spirit. I got a kick. Are you telling us that this masculine? Um, what's a good question? Gotta answer the right question. Um, he chose family. Joe's family because he's like infatuated and like pigs are flying and he's in love. Even though this is only the page of cups, I'm feeling like, see the pig when pigs fly, right? Um, that because he feels this love, it has made him feel kind of younger that he's made this choice and it has lit his heart up. Oh my God, look at this stuff flying out of his heart. His heart has been lit up. His heart is alive. <laughs> and he's thinking, well, what if? Why not? And there they are. The pigs are flying. He's out. He's having an out of body experience. <coughs> what, what, what caused this big, like this big decision, this big shift, this big offering? What brought this about? What's this? What? 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 <laughs> what is it? He don't want to play in illusions anymore. He's tired of, dare I say it, options, trickery, deceit, just 
The confusion, snakes and bats and bears, oh my. Yeah, he, he don't look too happy. So this right here, this kind of life right here, brought him to this right here. He had enough. He don't want no more. Does he have anybody in mind that he wants to have a family with? Yeah, the confusion, the struggles, the, the everyday illusion of the world, you know, made him want to do this to find grounding yeah he had an epiphany he had a spiritual experience maybe the hierophant an out of body experience and I was going to put that right there and that with the stairs going up and then it landed and read the energy right there elevated these two fell on top of each other on a different level he is elevated wow wow the divine masculine is elevated he's not really thinking about i don't think anybody in particular He's more trying to get his self situated and ready to uh, invest in someone in particular. Yeah, look at that. Roses and a message. Let's see. That's the bottom. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with this divine masculine? This, it, this dude looks like a living soul. Like his soul is in his body. Okay. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? Where is he at right now? Mm, working on making choices. Mental choices, unfortunately. He's got... Things pecking at his head. Oh, and that fell on the illusions. Red with the illusions. Two, two, two. Choices, choices, choices. So he chooses family. He elevates. And something about the illusions. What kind of choice is the Divine Masculine trying to make? A death and a rebirth. Choosing to die to his old self and be reborn. Falls on the energy of the Hierophant and the Page Cups. He's struggling to get to the Nine of Pentacles. He's having deaths and rebirths. Um, you know, trying again and again struggling struggling 
And of course, this is the energy he's in now. So this is the energy he went through to get to where he is now. What he wanted was to make a choice for his family, um, you know, and try to balance between, you know, over excess, illusions, and bad choices, deaths and rebirths. Does this masculine know what he wants? Nine of Wands. He wants to put up boundaries. Boundaries against oh. boundaries against love or boundaries for love. That's it. After death, he come back and he realized that in order to find the love he really wants, he's going to have to set some boundaries. Oh man, I'm having a hard time reading this. Yeah, there's a lot of scattered energy here. But he does know that he needs to set boundaries in his life if he wants to achieve the love. Is that correct, Spirit? He's resting. Four of Swords. I'd say that's truth. Yes, that's correct. He wants to put up boundaries in order that he might be able to attain love and make this offering of himself to someone that he does love. Does he have anybody in mind? Is he looking at anybody special? Does he know who he wants to make an offering to? Yeah, this Divine Masculine has been ascending, you know. Each time he fell back, he ascended a little more. Each time he fell back, you know, and then he had a death, come back, begin to set boundaries because he's actually see her looking see how she's looking this way she's looking towards that cup of love she's looking for love and that's him looking for love well one last card. How does it go? He's resting. Hmm. He's looking. He's feeling free. He feels protected. These are actually geometrical shapes. He's working through the quantum quantum field, spiritual world. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Like like creation and destruction, creation and destruction. Creation and destruction, death, creation, love, rest. This is the last one. Let's see how we end this. <laughs> A beginning manifester 
coming soon to a home near you. The Magician. I can't leave it like that. What's he want to manifest? What's he working on manifesting? Come on, one last card. Oh, I hope it's something beautiful. Please, God, let it be beautiful. What's he working on manifesting? Knight of Swords. He's manifesting that he's on his way. Boy, he's carrying this story out, right? Step by step, he's manifesting he's on his way. Okay, he's on his way to what? What's he on his way to? Look, we were supposed to stop there, but he's getting ready to hop on that motorcycle, and he's heading somewhere. He got his, his, um, that looks like, I want to say, it's either a crow, but it's too big for a crow. That's an eagle or a hawk. Oh my God. Passion. And of course it would be the devil. He's working on passion, the first word. The devil stands for passion. Capricorn is the devil. Capricorn is one of the hardest, meticulous, tedious workers in the um, astrological chart. And so, you know, that can be kind of devilish sometimes if all you got is one thing on your mind and you're just trying to get there to it. Um, passion. And we still don't know what he's got passion for. He says the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, you know, love. Well, we got to pull one more card. You know, this is the Capricorn card, right? And it looks like he's going... If I were to read this card as I see it and not as it's been interpreted so many thousand billions times, it looks like he's offering his hand. Let's take away the evil devil part, okay? Yeah. With strings attached. Oh, boy. Okay. I got to read it like I see it. He's aiming for the Nine of Cups. There's a feminine out there somewhere that he wants. All I know is this, ladies and gentlemen. If you've had people that's come into your life and they broke your heart and they've returned again and they broke your heart again they've returned again and broke your heart again and, um, you know... It may definitely be time to set you up some boundaries. And I'm only saying this because I love you. And you definitely want to protect the beautiful hearts that you have. And whatever it is and however it goes, you know, this is a divine masculine reading. You can tell I've been there and done that, right? Okay, I love you. I've been there and done that. So divine masculines, you're looking for your um, nine of cups. And, you know, I just don't like this card. I could go all the way with it, but all of a sudden I saw the strings attached to his fingers. So be careful and make sure you thoroughly examine all things in case somebody comes at you with an offer and they have strings attached. Now, what's this devil and what the hell does he want? Oh, my God, he wants justice. What the hell? What the hell? Justice? I 
mean, everybody deserves justice. Every soul, spirit, creature. Justice. The devil wants justice. In this reading of the Divine Masculine, can you help me here, Holy Spirit? Can you please help me? Because this... Justice and the devil side by side. Wow. You ever think you'd see that? Huh? Justice is on top of the Nine of Cups. The devil's on this Knight of Swords. Just, I'm not drawing anymore. It's a new day. That's what I heard. It's a new day. It's a new world, and it's a new life. I mean, anything is possible. The devil wants justice. Page of Wands. I'm going to read that out of here. Page of Wands is a new adventure. Page of Wands is uh, setting out on the Page of Wands embodies the spirit of air and energy of fire, fresh and new like inspiration and curiosity. He is ready to embark on a new adventure. He holds a wand that is the Ace of Wands. He can dare say yes to the unknown. Stand before life as a child would with enthusiasm and purity of heart. The Page of Wands has no fear. He transforms it into vitality and creates creative ability. He represents a new project, a journey, something unexpected to be embraced without fear. Trusting the exploratory and lively spirit that characterizes the one suit, it's time to follow what inspires us, exploration, enthusiasm, spontaneity. Um, the devil is looking for a new life. No, I don't know what to say. Okay, guys, this is really kind of weird for me. Yeah, do I believe in the devil? I do, but to me, it's a low-level energy. You know, and, but we've seen ascension here, you know, and when pigs fly and all that kind of stuff. And this card right here just said, it's, don't, you know, the unexpected. Okay, I'm just saying a devilish man somewhere out there has sought for justice and changed his life and is coming home soon, possibly to somebody that he loves. He's on a new adventure. And um, and that's just the way it is, and I don't know what to say anymore. I'm kind of, if anybody has any comments, please let me know. You know, I mean, all things are possible, right? Anything, any anything can transform itself into something else. And all it takes is, uh, you know, uh, upgrading your energy, releasing the old energy in order to step into a new energy. It's exactly that. It's exactly that. That's it. Well, this has been very interesting. I love you guys. The devil is going through a transformation, and he's doing it in a big hurry. He's seeking justice, and he wants to go on a new journey. This is actually for the Divine Masculine, right? Yes, yes, yes. But he has been somewhat of a devil, hasn't he? Yeah. 
Okay. All right, guys. I love y'all. Have mercy. Forgive me. I do not believe that the divine masculine is a devil. I love my man, too. Okay? I love. I love men. I have my whole life. So, I'm not, I'm not a, a man hater. I just know that I've been through a lot. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.